Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue today. Today's topic is, do you let the fear of rejection stop you from having a relationship? This is something that a lot of men and women do and they don't really understand that they're doing it. But what's happening is they're sabotaging their own happiness. The reason for this is because they reject somebody else before they can be rejected. So they might be out dating and enjoying themselves to a certain degree, but if it starts to get too close, they put the stop sign up and reject the person. The trick to, to stopping this behavior is to finding out what the insecurity is that's making you feel that this rejection is going to be so damaging. Everybody goes into love relationships and there is a fear that you may not surpass the test of time with this person and that's what we're supposed to learn as we date people and we go through through our years in our life and we evolve to higher places if you don't learn the lessons or you take one lesson and you just hold on to that and say to yourself I'm never gonna let that happen again how is that really working for you what are you getting out of it if you're feeling that you're always going to be rejected. The bottom line is you have to figure out why that is. What has caused you to get to this place? Dating people and then leaving the relationship before they leave you is just repeating a, a pattern that's super unhealthy. And not to mention the fact that it's, it's not just you involved here. It's somebody else is in learning the path that you're on as well. And that's not fair to do to somebody. A lot of the times it's we figure that we were dumped or we had a situation maybe in our earlier years in our life where we were abandoned by a parent or maybe our first girlfriend or boyfriend broke our heart and we're still holding on to it. The reason that we go through things in life is to learn. It is something that we have to evolve from, not take it with us to our grave. You have to understand that you are attracting people towards you for a reason. So why, why are you attracting these people? What is going on that you have this constant fear of rejection? The best thing you can do is own there's a problem and work on the insecurities as to what's causing this self-doubt. Because that's what it is. You doubt that somebody's going to stick around with you for the long haul. And where did this come from? What what transpired in your life to make it so powerful that it is actually taking over your life. A lot of people will just sit there and keep continuing on with these behavioral patterns that aren't working for them, rather than sit down and just take even a few months to try and figure it out. We all have self-esteem issues in our life. We all have self-doubt. We all feel sometimes that we're not worthy of love. But you get past these things if you do the homework and put energy into figuring out what is going on. Because you shouldn't feel like this for your entire life. You need to understand what's going on here. What is causing me to feel this way? If you're living your life risk-free, you're not doing anything outside of your comfort zone, and you're just living a very you know routine lifestyle, but you're still stuck in this place of not wanting to be in a relationship because of the rejection, feeling that you might be rejected. You need to bring more things into your life. Give it purpose. Maybe there's something going on that you're not, you're not feeling good about yourself. And that's what's causing this, this fear that you're not good enough. And so you think someone's going to walk away from you. And holding on to the fact that you're going to always be rejected is what you're putting out there. So, Unfortunately, that is what you might get back because it's such a fear. And when something is fear driven like that, a lot of times more of that comes towards you. You've got to change your thinking. You've got to change your whole way of living your life when, it, when you get to this place. I really suggest if you're stuck in this place to try new things. Just something outside of what you normally would do in your life. Just make an effort to get yourself out of this place that you're sort of stuck in and enhance your world. The more that you do these fun things and, and put energy into other things that bring you joy and make you go, oh my God, that was 
incredible. I feel like I've grown like 10 years just trying these few things out. That will really help your energy level. It will help you how you, you think and feel about everything. That will give you confidence and take away this feeling that everybody's going to leave you. Everybody's not going to stick with you. Allowing yourself to be vulnerable is so much better than shutting the doors on your emotions. Because Having a few little hurts here and there and scrape, scrapes along the way shows you're living your life. If you shut down and don't allow yourself to try new things or to get into a relationship because you're fearing rejection all the time, you're shortchanging yourself. That's not fair to yourself. You deserve more than that. You really have to find out what it is that's going on, why this fear is so strong, because it's holding you hostage. This fear is totally taking over your life on how you move forward or don't move forward. And not wanting to be in a relationship because someone might leave you is really, really taking a big toll on what you deserve. Because we all deserve a partner, we all deserve someone to love, and we can all meet that special person. But it's us that either brings it towards us or pushes it away. Don't you think it's worth trying to figure out what's going on internally? Rather than to just kind of let it fester and let it sit there and then not make your life better? I really think that it's time, if you're watching this video and this is happening to you on a regular basis, you want to sit down and take the time to understand what's going on. How did you get here? How can you make this better? What can you do to improve your life so that you can allow love in? The one thing I really want you to understand is that every single person that's in a relationship is in the same boat. Everyone's taking a risk. Everyone's relying on hoping that this love connection works out. So if you think about that, that they, they might have the same thoughts you have, but you, you sit there and you try and work with each other, you open up, you talk, you don't spend your, your relationship time sabotaging what's going on. You try to work on it to make it great. Have conversations, talk about things that are maybe scaring you or, or causing you to, to be insecure. Talk to your partner about it. Don't just shut the door because you're getting too close now and you feel they're going to leave you really, really sit down and talk to your partner about this because they probably get it. They've probably been there or maybe they've even had these feelings themselves. Put yourself out in places that you feel secure in. Put yourself in friendship areas and venue areas where you feel a connection with people. Maybe you're just not dating the right people and in relationships with the right people. And this will help you sort of say, okay, well, I'm really quite comfortable here. I don't feel that with this person. I feel like that they are they're on the same page as me. And that could be just what's happening here is that you might just not be choosing the right people and you might be feeling insecure with them because they're a different energy level than you, more confident than you. Make sure you choose your partners moving forward with really looking at how you are as a couple. Is there a connection? Is there compatibility? Or is there intimidation? Do you feel scared being with them? Because that could be a big part of the problem is that you're choosing the wrong people. The most important thing that you can learn in life is to take the lessons that you've experienced and move forward with those lessons to a better place. Don't repeat the lessons that aren't working. You don't want to keep the pain staying within you because then it's just gonna go, take, you're gonna take it over to every relationship. So sit down after, if you've just come out of a relationship where you've rejected somebody because you're afraid of being rejected, really sit down and look at what happened. Look at the partner that you chose to be in your life because you chose them. Look at the situations that transpired that made you scared. When did you become scared that you rejected them? You pushed them away. Was it because they started showing you they really cared? Maybe you have a fear of intimacy. Maybe you might be a little bit commitment phobic. And these are all things you can work on. So think about what transpired in your last relationship and please try not to repeat it because you do deserve to be happy and you deserve to have a wonderful relationship. So let's get to the bottom of what it is. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for that. And if you have any show topics, I'd love to hear from you. Leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.